What's up guys, welcome back to the tractor build. We have all our Corvette parts ordered, we're just waiting for them to come in. We're going to try to get a lot done on this tractor today, and we're going to sand the rims and prep for paint. So without further ado, let's get the video started. Alright guys, the tires came in last night for the tractor. The old tires were completely dry rotted, so we got the tires off the old rims. So what we're going to do, sand them all down. It's real rusty in here, so we're going to get that off before that punctures the new tubes. We're going to sand them, prime them, paint them, go get the tires put on, and then we'll be able to roll it around a little better. Start sanding all this, get this sticker off, just do as much as we can today. And so let's get started. All right, so we finished sanding the rims on the tractor. Yeah, this was the hardest part right here. That's a lot of caked on rust, and I wanted to get that off so the rust didn't flake off and cut our new tubes. So now we're gonna put some IPA on here, that way the oil from our fingers don't get on it. Yeah, and it just gets all the oil, oily residue off of here, and that way the primer will stick better. And we would film it outside, I mean paint outside, but it's raining today, so we're stuck having to paint inside. All right, so let's put the primer on and get started. Alright, we're going to paint the whole thing with primer, but when we paint it white, we're only going to do the top part, not the sides. Don't 
keep going over one spot. Look, right here. See how you got it running? You don't want that. You put too much. Just keep it going fast. All right, while the rims are drying, I'm going to clean these hubs up because remember last time I was trying to take the tires off and I couldn't get them, they were stuck. So we're going to get these cleaned up and then we'll work on some other stuff while the rims are drying. That's rusted up too. Okay, the hubs are done. Good enough for now to get the tires on. We'll prep them more before we paint. So next, we need to get these old stickers off. I think the best way is we'll use a heat gun and a scraper blade to pull them off. Let's see how it's gonna work. All right, that came off a lot better than I thought, so let's do the other side. Then we'll take all this apart. We can sand it down on the table. Plus that'll give me more room and I have to rewire it. All right, we got all the stickers off. We didn't do this one, gear shifter. We'll do that later. But it really worked good. That heat gun made that old sticker come off perfect. Rim should be dry. So we put a coat of white paint on it. Let that dry, then we'll go to the tire shop, put the new tires on it.
here, girl. Come here, Lexi. Get out that old paint fumes. You don't need to breathe paint fumes. Looking good. All right, I went and got the heater because it's raining today and it's just so humid. So this is going to help it dry. Set this up. I'm ready to get to town, get these mounted, get some food. Let's see. So hopefully put that on for about five minutes of a rim. That's going to come out good. Let it bake on. It looks awesome. Good job. All right, we got the heater set up and we keep moving it around at the top, bottom, backside, and it's still not drying as fast as I thought it would, being it's rainy and a lot of humidity today. So we jumped to the back tires. These are really bad. The metal's really pitted, and I put the big angle grinder on it, and it's pretty smooth now. Still have some rough spots, but that's probably about the best we're going to get it. So we're going to clean it up, blow it out with air, wipe it down with alcohol, and we're going to put some tape around here so we don't get paint on the tires, and then spray it down with primer. That way the back tires can be drying while we're in town getting the new tires put on. Alright, this was a lot harder than I thought it was. There's no way I could tape a car up for paint. We tried a several different strategies in the best way. I was first trying to do all the way around, but that didn't work. So we just kept tearing off short little pieces and doing it that way. But that should be good enough. We ran out of tape, so we can't do the other rim. Alright, let's spray it down and uh, see how it works. Now we're going to paint it or prime it. We ran out of the blue painter's tape, so we're going to have to use the good old trusty duct tape, which should be good. So let's get it on and get a coat of primer on it.
All right, we got both tires, back, back rims primed, and we never could go do the rims, get the tires mounted, cause they still wet. So we got the heater still on it. The can says it takes 24 hours, so it's not a fast drying paint. So we're gonna have this on it all night, trying to bake it, let it dry, since it's so humid today. And in the meantime, we took this all apart. I sanded this down. We're gonna paint the front grill. We already painted the, the front. We got one coat of white on there. So we're gonna get this painted up and it will probably get a coat of white on the back tires. We went and got Rust-Oleum white. I think this is gonna be a lot better than this stuff. This stuff just does not dry. I don't like it. So we're gonna use this. And let's get this going. Get it painted up. You want to do it or me? I'll do it. Okay. Looks perfect. I think you got it. And that should dry pretty quick. Alright, so let's take this hood off. And we can use a sander. Start sanding all this down. I already took the bolts out. I had four bolts in it. There, there, there. So let's try to take this off. This would give me more room when I rewire it. Because I got to try to get up in here, get to the ignition. So that'll help a lot. And you can use this sander, sand all that down. And that way it'll take the paint a lot better. couldn't find the blue spray paint we like at Tractor Supply, so we're just going to have to order that. All right, we got the hood all primed up, and I bought this kind of primer. It's a little different, self-etching. I think that'd be a little better for this old rusty stuff. So I took the battery tray out, so let's sand it down, get it primed, and then we'll paint the rims white, and that'll probably be it for today.
let's do the back rims and then we are done for the day. It's been a long day. Yep. All right, we got two cans of white. You take one, do this tire, I'll do the other one. Let's see who does the best job. All right. It's competition now. Let's do a good job. All right, we got one coat on each rim. I think mine came out way, way better than Tyler's. No, nah, I think mine came out better. Take a look. Still probably need one more coat tomorrow. But they, take a look at yours. Well, yours was prepped a lot better and sanded better. Comment below who y'all think won. All right, so we got that done. Got this open up. I can start wiring it up. Battery tray is uh, primed. We did a good bit today. Never could get the tires done because the rims are still wet. Try to make a little tent with a heater. We'll take that off tonight. Tomorrow we'll sand this all down. Wire it. Try to figure out some other stuff. Maybe take the fenders off. That way we can sand those down. But we got another full day. We bought some hose today. This one got was too short. I have to get another hose like that. And I tried to find one of these. I'll show you a terrible design. It comes straight out of here. So your hose lays on this exhaust manifold and just bakes into it. So I wanted like a 90 and then screw that into the 90 like a, a male to female 90. But I couldn't find one anywhere. So that'll come straight out and then into here. And that'll keep it off of that exhaust manifold. And I guess that's it. Let's see. I guess we'll be back first thing in the morning. All right, guys, this is the next day. We did a lot of work yesterday. All the paint's dry. The rims came out great. They dried perfectly. Red on a can that it takes 24 hours and it did. I left the heater on and it baked it on good. Grill came out good. Only thing is the frame that goes around the grill needs another coat of paint. Rims are good. We're waiting on blue paint from Tractor Supply. They didn't have any. Somebody bought her. I guess they were storing a tractor too, so all that was gone. I got the wiring harness out. I'm going to read over that today, try to figure this out. That'll be in the next video, so stay tuned to see if this old tractor is even going to crank up. Uh, what else? We still gonna sand the fenders down, paint those. We still gotta do this front bumper, do that. Still got a few little knickknacks here and there. Hopefully it cranks, that'll be the big thing. So we're gonna put another coat on that, do some cleanup, remove some tape. After that, we'll show you the Corvette because you haven't seen that since we got it back from the shop. And we got some fan mail over here we wanna open up. So stay tuned, and we're going to do all that at the end. All right, we cleaned up a little bit, got it a little more organized, but let's take a quick sneak peek at the Corvette. Show you what all we did. Remember we had to get the frame straightened out on it. Our guy at Steel Tree Fabricating and Customs did an amazing job. Look at these body lines. They are absolutely perfect. We're trying to find a front bumper right now. 
They're about $400 for a new one. We're trying to find one on eBay or somewhere a little bit cheaper. So we're trying to get that. That's all going to be in the next video. I don't want to put too much in this one. Just want to give you a quick sneak peek. So let's open up some fan mail and see what we got. They don't have a name on it, but it came from Florida. So let's see. National Geographic. Ooh. Appalachian Trail. A few videos ago, I talked about I was going hiking on Appalachian Trail. So I guess somebody saw that. Must be a map. No letter. Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to have this framed. So that's a map of the entire trail. The trail goes from Georgia all the way up to Maine and people hike the entire trail. It's over 2,000 miles. I really love going hiking it every year. I try to do 50, 60, 100 miles, whatever, every year. It's something I really love, enjoy doing. So I don't know who sent it, but whoever did, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'm going to keep that forever. So that's going to be it for today's video. And we will see you in the next one.